wombat poop and X to the third power have in common? They're both cubed. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and today we're doing another episode of Weird Science. If you're a fan of marsupials, or if you've ever messed up in one of my dad's classes or athletic practices, you're probably familiar with wombats. Side note, I have no idea why dad calls people wombats, but it did cause a large picture of a wombat to get taped to his office door when I was in high school. Anyway, aside from looking like giant cuddly throw pillows, wombats have one other superpower, if you can call it that, that no other animal in the world has. Their poop is square-shaped. Yes, that's right, folks, we're talking poop today, so buckle in for a poo-filled episode. Bonus points if we can get this video trending at number two while we answer the question, how do wombats poop cubes? For those of you that have read Packing for Mars for STEM Book Club, you might remember that our poo is shaped the way it is, mainly due to our intestines and our anus shape, and the ever-important sphincter pinching that's required to cut that turd off and let it embrace its next life in a septic tank somewhere. Sharp corners and flat surfaces aren't shapes normally found in biology because they require a lot of extra energy. Also, ouch! So how do wombats avoid the typical turd shape? As it turns out, wombats just have really weird butts altogether. They've got a protective shield of bone and a thick pad of fat meant to repel burrowing predators, or if they play basketball, make for a really good box out. While we've always known that wombat butts are weird, the cute poop thing has remained a mystery until recently. It was originally thought that maybe the poop got its shape thanks to a square anus, or that the wombat's stomach somehow managed to digest food such that it would create the square shape. However, according to Patricia Yang, a mechanical engineer at Georgia Tech, this isn't the case at all. So why is a mechanical engineer concerned with wombat poop? Well, Patricia specializes in fluids and was looking for a new way to manufacture cubes in food production. At the moment, we only really have two ways of creating cubes, by molding them from soft materials or by cutting them from harder objects. She believed the wombats had a new way of creating the cubes that hadn't been considered yet. In order to figure out why the poo was a cube, Patricia had to have wombat intestines shipped in from roadkill specimens, and after analyzing the poop in various parts of the intestines, she and her team made a surprising discovery. In the upper parts of the wombat intestine, the feces were soft and liquidy, but in the last 8% of the intestinal tract, the poo was cubed and incredibly dry. After a closer look, the researchers realized that the key to the cubed poop lied in the elasticity of the intestines. They inflated wombat intestines and pig intestines to compare the two, and what they found was while the pig intestines had fairly uniform elasticity along its length, leading to the rounder poo, the wombat intestines had a much more irregular shape. In the last bit of its intestines, the wombat had two distinct ravine-like grooves where the intestine had more elasticity, and it's this varying elasticity that Yang believes shapes the poo into cubes. So why do wombats poop cubes? This one's still a bit up in the air, but there are several theories floating around. Get it? Because they're float- You know what? I'm trying! Some think that maybe the feces having the ability to be stackable helps the wombats mark their territory with their scat. Other scientists disagree, and one alternative hypothesis is that the shape comes from the wombat's digestive system squeezing every last drop of moisture out of the bolus as it moves through the digestive tract. This theory is backed up by the fact that wombats in captivity that have more regular access to water have feces that aren't as cube-shaped. In addition, there's a lot of unanswered questions about the mechanism itself. Patricia wants to figure out what's up with those grooves and why there's only two rather than four, and what the implications are for manufacturing as a whole. So that brings us to our question of the day. If you could have any really weird defecation-related superpower, what would it be? I know I'm gonna regret this question, but answer it in the comments section down below. Try to at least make them funny, y'all. As always, if you wanna check out this topic a little bit more in depth, I'll include links to my sources down below, along with links to all of my social media and my Patreon page. So feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and you wanna see more STEM related content just like it, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on any of my future STEM related videos. If you've got any burning questions about a super weird science topic, send them my way in the comments down below, on the Stimulus Facebook page, or on Twitter at, at the Stimulus using the hashtag weird science, and I just might make it into a video. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.